Hey everybody, Linda Hart here. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're talking about communication in real estate and how it relates to the negotiation process. Before we get started today, I wanna to just remind you to subscribe to my channel if you are interested in seller tips, buyer tips. Today we're talking to sellers about how communication can impact the way the deal on your home is negotiated and what angles you can take to reach that, reach that mutual goal of getting your, your home under contract and moving forward to closing, so stay tuned. So recently I was negotiating an offer for a client who was looking for a condo and we put an offer in. Offer was sent and I texted her because it seemed like that was how she was wanting to communicate. So I was texting her that it was in her mailbox and to check it out and let me know what the seller thought. Ex fully expecting a counter offer. It wasn't a full price offer, but it wasn't crazy unreasonable either. Um, the, market, the home had been on the market for about 45 days, which in the St. Pete, Tampa area is pretty long in this market right now. We're in a pretty um, high demand market with a lot of buyers that are looking for homes and not enough inventory. So that makes it a seller's market. So in this communications with this agent, um, we sent the offer. I told her what kind of mortgage this person was getting, just information about my client, just so that she could relay that to her seller. As a listing agent, that's what you want to do. About five minutes after I sent the text saying to look for the offer, she sends back a text that is pretty aggressive, very aggressive. She was trying to tell me that uh, my client needed to do a lot better if they wanted to even be considered for this property. Just kept going on and on about how it's unreasonable, this offer that we submitted. So much so that I had to go back and look at my offer to make sure I didn't have a typo or something like, I just didn't understand why she was so offended. So the point of me telling you this is, this could have easily been resolved by her making a phone call to me, just letting me know, hey, I have a really difficult seller or you know, they're really not gonna waver on their price. Is there anything else that you can do uh, with your client? Is he willing to come up any so that we can make this happen? Um, just having a conversation instead of pretty much being very uh, offensive and attacking via text message because texting leaves a lot to interpretation and sometimes people type in all caps um, and it just comes off as yelling. So it definitely, the, your communication style is definitely a big part of getting your home sold, whether you're the owner or you're the listing agent. Texting, I would say, is not commonly not the best way because it immediately put me on the defensive and as my as a buyer's agent you know i am working on behalf of the buyer so of course if he wanted to negotiate i certainly would approach him with that um, but this listing agent communicating to me via text and basically telling me to go pound sand uh, with our offer didn't make me really want to try to get this property for my client because I knew that this was going to be difficult. Um, however, as an agent, you know, you do what you have to do for your client. If my client really wanted this property, we would have made it work. Now, a word on lowball offers. This was not a lowball offer. We were literally 10,000 under list price, which is not out of the question when a property has been on the market for 35, 40 days. We felt that 10,000 under list was not out of the question. Had we bid 20,000 under list on a condo of this price, of course, I would have made a phone call and said, I've advised my buyer that this is the price he should offer. However, he's coming in at this number. Um, but that wasn't the case in this situation. I didn't have to make a phone call because our offer was not out of the question. It was a very reasonable offer considering the condition of the property and how long it had been on the market. And that helps develop the relationship between agent to agent to show them that yes, we are trying to reach that common goal and we're having a conversation. Again, it all comes down to communication and what angle you take. Hey Michelle, it's Linda Hart here with Century 21. I just wanted to say that um, I did get your offer and I wondered if there's any way that your client could come up any seller who just really feels that his property should sell for the price that we have it listed. 
and I just wondered if there was any room to move. Great, awesome. I look forward to getting your revised offer. Thanks, bye-bye. See, easy peasy. Make a com have a conversation and talk to the other agent on the other side of the deal. If you have these conversations, instead of just emailing or texting, it just makes things go a lot smoother. Now, she could have said no. I don't, my buyer can't come up any. And perfectly fine, I will present it as you submitted it. Thank you very much. But that buyer's agent opinion of me as the listing agent would have come across a lot better if I had handled it the way that I just showed you in that example. Texting or emailing your demands does not make anybody feel good about their offer or about you as the listing agent. So if you're a seller hiring a listing agent, please keep that in mind that their communication style could make or break your home negotiations. An important aspect of selling a home, whether you're, again, whether you're listing it yourself or you're using an agent, when you're interviewing an agent, ask them, how do you communicate? Now on the flip side of that, there's also the issue of the other agent acting as if, you know, they know it all, they've been in the business for 25 years and they've, you know, they do this all the time and you're being absurd with what your request is or whatever, and that's hard too. So again, having a conversation um, person to person over the phone really does help to ease those tensions and it helps you get to the angle of, hey, let's work this out. Let's get this, um, this deal written so that we can reach that common goal of selling the property. I think that so many people are focused on which agent is going to sell my home in the least amount of time and is going to give me the best price that they don't necessarily think about communication style and how that agent works with other agents so that we can all reach this mutual common goal of getting a deal done. Instead of being accusatory via text and just giving negative karma and negative all the negativity out there. As agents, we do have difficult people that we have to work with. Sometimes we have a really hard-nosed buyer that doesn't ever wanna pay full price. And then sometimes we have a really hard seller that doesn't wanna accept anything but full price for their property. And that's okay, but we have to consider how we're gonna reach a common goal. And sometimes picking up the phone is the best way to do that. So those are my thoughts on communication. Please feel free to check us out at heartrealtors.com where you'll find uh, MLS listing search. You'll find my blog as well as some videos that I've done on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.